Greetings, everyone. The idea that we're separated from God is so unfortunate. In the scripture, it said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the world was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the earth. And on the first day, God made this, and the evening of the morning was the first day, and it went on to seven days. But in these seven days, God created man based on the Bible story. So, how could we be separate from the creator so for me the greatest sin is the idea that we are not one with God it is very unfortunate and I also want to say that I have struggled with this for many years I did not quite understand my relationship with a God my relationship with this, you know, superior being was based on what someone else told me and not my own experience until after many, many years that changed. We all here, we're all connected to the universe and the creative elements within it. And as soon as we understand that, our life will change. Our relationship with this universe, with earth, with people, will take on new perspective. I want to say that there are a lot of persons who have labels, people who are called crazy, when they say they hear things in their spirit, they're considered, you know, mentally ill. And some of these individuals have diagnosis. Is it possible? That's, and I'm not downplaying mental health because we know it is real. But I'm saying, is everyone who says I hear voices? crazy and my answer to that is a resounding no there are times when I hear things in my spirit that even I question and it doesn't matter how many times you hear things in your spirit and it's confirmed there's going to be a time when you're gonna to have to be really trusting you're gonna have to trust what you hear because sometimes what you're hearing does not make sense to the common person it might not even make sense to you you're going to question that so the last three months i know i heard these things in my spirit and there was also physical evidence proving that i'm hearing what i hear but when the time came for me to really hold on to what I hear sometimes it's difficult because the people around you when you mention it to them or when you say this is the direction I'm going in they're thinking this doesn't make sense this does not add up like someone said on the channel a couple of days ago uh, what I was saying about a dream that I had didn't make sense but when we were dealing with the supernatural a lot of it will not make sense Okay, so if there's any abomination, is the thought that you could be one without God. That you could exist outside of the reach and the control of God. Or that a creator could form you in your mother's womb and cause you to enter this earth and what they call the world. And not be one with you. So I'm going to encourage everybody to take time, even five minutes per day, just to reconnect. Because it's not that God has left you that is impossible. He's always with you. Spirit is always with you. Teaching you and showing you. But sometimes you're stubborn. And sometimes you insult the spirit. You would rather listen to the voice of some random stranger than that voice that dwells within you. 
And if you are skeptical, which is okay, we're human beings. If you're skeptical, you still just need to see through, to document it and to watch. What is the harm in watching? Now, sometimes when we receive these spiritual downloads, it's difficult to tell if it's you or the voice within you, but understand that they're one. Trust your spirits. Show your spiritual guides that you want to learn. You're prepared to learn. You're open to learn. There's nothing that Eve could have done in the Garden of Eden that would cause you and I to be written off to hell and damnation. This is heaven. Heaven is in here. Heaven is, is not in an outer space. There is no hell except the one that we create for ourselves or other people. And it exists right on this plane. And the more I am tested. And the more I resist. And eventually come back. To that place where I surrender, I am so blown away. I cannot wait to tell the story. But I want to remind you that it's real. And whomever you perceive to be God is real. I shouldn't have to say that. Just the fact that you have to tell people that this spirit that dwells within us and around us, I should say the, these spirits that dwell within us and around us are real. And all they're doing is waiting for our command. And all they're doing is also waiting for our obedience and our trust and to build a relationship with our ancestors or spirit guides, whatever you want to call it. I still struggle with the direction or the directives. I ask a lot of questions. I never ever really just jump and say, okay, this is so. I question. I have questions. But I eventually get to the point where I have no reason to doubt. There's nothing impossible for God. There's nothing, and there's nothing that you or I can do that will cause us to be separated from who we are and who we belong to. Stay blessed, everyone.